Out there, in the gigantic shortfall of clarity of room, the James Webb Space Telescope has been investigating the most diminutive things for answers about the universe. This NASA's new eye above has been finding dazzling pictures of stars, tremendous planets, and planets. At long last, something upsetting has been found. Something so tremendous it could shake the authentic spines of all that we sort out. It has specialists scratching their heads and researching whether it could ignite the farthest major of everything, going nearby us, as we examine how the latest divulgences of the James Webb Space Telescope could pulverize our appreciation of the universe. At the point when we examine the edge of the universe, we are examining the conspicuous universe. The perceptible universe emanates an impression of being a window through which we can take a gander at the degree past the discernible universe. It integrates everything we can at this point see, measure, and examine utilizing our telescopes and space tests. It's a system of stars, systems, and astronomical bodies within our hold of finding. Notwithstanding, the noticeable universe is a smidgen of the entire universe. Imagine it as a slice from a giant pie that we're ready to study and deal with, while the absolute size and condition of the universe in general stay confidential. Scientists check the width of our observable air pocket to be around 93 billion light years. A light year measures the distance that light, the fastest thing on the planet, goes in one year around 5.88 trillion miles or 9.46 trillion kilometers. So, when we examine the breadth of the discernible universe being 93 billion light years, we're inspecting an amazing stretch. Around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe burst into reality in an unbelievably strong impact. This event started what we call the Big Bang. Since that titanic birth, the universe hasn't recently been cultivating. It's been progressing rapidly in its advancement. Confounding powers like the surprising dark energy, which seem to be driving the speed increase, have been further segregating the limitations of the universe. As it relaxed, matter started to gather, impacted by gravity. This gravitational force joined particles, birthing stunning plans, stars, gigantic systems, and, in the end, planets like our own Earth. Picture the universe passing by as these gigantic designs formed, molding into the fantastic, yet constantly progressing qualities we see across the universe today. No matter what its gigantic size, the universe is stunningly void. If we somehow wind up pulling back our entire planet to the size of a quarter, the nearest star would still be about the length of two soccer fields away. This boundless quality augments just inside our own Milky Way galaxy, which is only one among billions in the evident universe, equipping us with a sense of the sheer size of incredible space. Now, you could ask, with regards to why we can't in a general sense see all that exists in the universe, there are a few clarifications for this impediment, generally including light, the fastest thing known to man which still requires some time to go through space. This suggests that when we look at faraway objects, we are basically focusing on the past. The farther an object is, the additional time its light has taken to reach us. It's like looking through a titanic time machine, unrolling the authentic past of our universe. As we notice systems millions or even billions of light years away, the universe is enlarging. Imagine spots on the external layer of a making inflatable. As the inflatable broadens, the spots move farther apart. The same rule applies to the universe. Worlds, like those spots, are drifting apart as the external layer of space broadens. This development causes the light from long way away objects to go through a shift known as redshift. Essentially, the frequencies of light stretch as the objects push away, pushing toward longer frequencies regularly radiating an impression of being tanned in color. Given these factors, light's advancement time, the extension of space, and the universe's consistent increase, it's not shocking that we haven't yet completely seen all that the universe offers. Even with our particularly high-level telescopes and advancements, our view is still limited by these key properties of the universe. The journey to figure out the possible edge or limitations of the universe has captivated the minds of many individuals across disciplines. While certain reactions stay dangerous, three unquestionable theories have emerged, each offering intriguing perspectives on the extension of boundless space. The first speculation suggests that the universe grows colossally, proceeding endlessly without a noticeable edge. This thought lines up with the cosmological principle which states the isotropy of the universe, that it seems steady from any vantage point. If this is true, 
it suggests that the universe comes up short on limit and broadens immeasurably toward each heading. The subsequent speculation offers an elective view, suggesting that while the universe may indeed be limited, it lacks a clear edge. Perhaps it could seem to be a giant circle or a wound space like Earth. In this scenario, if one somehow figured out how to travel endlessly toward any course, they would eventually return to the starting point, like circumnavigating Earth. The third speculation, the multiverse hypothesis, presents an interesting idea that our universe is only one of an endless number of others. Imagine a vast number of equal universes, each existing with its own plan of actual guidelines, constants, and properties. These universes may be very astounding from one another, working independently, or they may be interconnected through complex systems, forming a gigantic and surprising multiverse. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, stands as an identification of potential, clarifying the secrets that lie at the tremendous starting points of the universe. This unimaginable instrument has an unparalleled capacity to deliver the dumbfounding past of our universe, allowing us to peer quite far past what was in advance possible. The JWST is a mechanical marvel, designed expressly to notice the universe with striking precision. Its high-level limits stretch our vision to the earliest snapshots of the universe. A significant report published in the journal Nature revealed the JWST's discovery of six huge worlds, going back between 500 million and 700 million years after the Big Bang. Magnificently, these old universes are far bigger than expected for their early existence, testing winning speculations of universe formation. In addition, their advancement in the early universe is really astounding. What's amazing about these discoveries is the level of complexity in these old systems. This goes against the assumption that worlds form gradually over time. These tremendous universes show a level of intricacy equivalent to our 13-billion-year-old Milky Way universe. The sheer number of stars inside these titanic behemoths outperforms our assumptions, with each universe flaunting a mass several times greater than our sun. Strikingly, one of these G-cosmic systems might even have a mass up to a couple of times that of our Sun, overshadowing the already massive size of our Milky Way. The JWST's unparalleled ability to explore the universe's secret spaces depends on its use of infrared light, an imperceptible range to the unedged eye. This astonishing power enables the telescope to catch the feeble emissions from old stars and systems, uncovering immense leftovers that have endured for billions of years. Essentially, the JWST acts as a time machine, moving our vision back through the ages and offering an enchanting investigation of the universe as it appeared over 13.5 billion years ago. The consistent discovery of tremendous cosmic systems, inflexibly nicknamed universe breakers, has changed our comprehension. It's like improving history, a stunning wind that challenges large numbers of the models we had spread out for early worlds. At first, we accepted that worlds formed from humble beginnings, starting as small assortments of stars. They were thought to advance over time, gradually filling in size and intricacy. However, the universe breakers have broken these ideas. When the JWST data and its high-resolution pictures revealed these gigantic designs, they appeared seemingly out of the blue, as if they had just been found, bewildering our past understanding of galaxy development. Digging further, Agents used spectroscopic strategies to break down light across various frequencies. This assessment holds the key to unlocking significant insights about these confounding galaxies, such as their design, size, and distance from Earth. It's like a colossal intellectual story, with light as the key to revealing the mysteries of these tremendous elements. The stunning disclosures from the James Webb Space Telescope have changed our comprehension of the universe to extraordinary levels. This frontline telescope, worked by a worldwide group of space analysts, has as of late uncovered a dazzling plate discovery, the identification of the most established and most far-off cosmic systems at any point noticed. These universes transport us back to when the universe was only a small piece of its continuous age, existing only a brief time frame after the Big Bang. The James Webb Space Telescope, out in the huge murkiness of space, has been searching for answers about the universe. It's NASA's most recent strong instrument, capturing shocking pictures of stars, universes, and planets. Recently, 
it made a discovery so remarkable that it could change how we understand the very texture of the universe, leaving experts astounded and inquisitive about its true potential implications. When we concentrate on the universe, we begin with the detectable universe, a window into the endlessness beyond. This apparent universe encompasses all that we can presently communicate with through our telescopes and space tests, including stars, planets, and other heavenly bodies. However, it's simply a little piece of the whole universe. Analysts estimate the width of our detectable universe to be around 93 billion light years. A light year measures the distance light travels in one year, around 588 trillion miles, making the range almost limitless. Around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe began with the Big Bang, a monstrous shoot that set off the fantastic expansion. From that point forward, the universe has been extending and speeding up, driven by secretive forces like dark energy. Matter started to come together under gravity, forming stars, galaxies, and, eventually, planets like Earth. This constant cycle shapes the universe's vast size, permitting us to notice only a minuscule piece of its interminable intricacy. Indeed, even with this expansion, much of the universe remains dark and uncharted. Regardless of how far we've come in exploring space, much of it remains concealed, even with the power of the James Webb Space Telescope. Huge sections of the universe remain distant, but its disclosures continue to reshape our insight, offering a brief look into the unimaginable marvels that lie just beyond our sight. The infinity of space continues to shock and move us. However, with each surprising observation, we are gradually sorting out an increasingly complex understanding of the universe's history and future. The James Webb Space Telescope is an instrument that could forever influence the way we ponder space, time, and the actual nature of our world. The repercussions of the JWST's disclosures stretch beyond intellectual speculations. They challenge the very underpinnings of current cosmology. If these giant galaxies existed so early in the universe's history, it drives us to reevaluate current models of galaxy development. For many years, scientists have adhered to the idea that galaxies grow slowly, beginning as little, dense assortments of gas and dust, gradually progressing over billions of years. The discovery of these enormous universes, formed within the initial few hundred million years after the Big Bang, presents a mystery that doesn't align with this slow evolution. This discovery raises new questions about the nature of galaxy formation itself. How did such large, complex galaxies form so rapidly after the universe's start? What forces were at play in those early times that enabled rapid star development and the creation of galaxies on such a grand scale? These questions don't just challenge our current understanding of the early universe. They also stretch the limits of our knowledge of physics especially regarding the behavior of dark matter and dark energy during the universe's earliest stages.